<laughs> Hello. How are you guys? Good evening. Jose Lino. Hi teacher, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you today? Okay. Ready for another class? Yes. Okay. Were you here last night? No. Yes. Okay. Let's let me see if we can make a little change here. All right. Now where are the Carlos? Hello, Carlos. Hello, teacher. Hello, everybody. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening. So we have Iris. It is Guzman. Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. We have Natalie, Carlos. Jonathan. Hey, Jorge. Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you? Good, good. Nice. Almost ready to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, not yet, right? Okay. Uh, let's see. Gabriela is here too. You, you Elizabeth. Is also here. Okay, we're going to We'll show you or to share my screen and see where we stopped yesterday. Where is it here? Just go to it. All right, now here we go. So yesterday we watched a video about the conversation about the uh, happy birthday, right? So we're practicing with the questions. Are the waiters going to? And today, it says here we have a knowledge check. Okay, instructions, listen to the interview. What are these people going to do? Instructions. Okay, so we have to listen and see what they are going to do. 
Uh, the strategy, the technique, or the tip, okay, the tip that we can use for listening is this. First, in this case, you can uh, check the question. Okay, we have four questions. Say Michelle is going to, and then you have four options. Then uh, you have Kevin. Kevin is going to, and then you have four, four options. Robert. Is going to, and then you have read, work at home, make a blueprint, you work. And Jane is going to go dancing, see a movie, go to a party, or listen to music. Okay, so we have here that we have to listen or pay attention for detail. Okay, we're going to listen and pay attention to some specific information, right? Now oh, let me play the, the track. Now we, uh, we have to share the computer sound. Good evening. I'm Al Rivers with KXQ News Radio. I'm talking with people waiting for the bus tonight. I'm finding out how they're going to spend their evening. What's your name? It's Michelle. I bet you're going to go to the gym tonight. No, not tonight. I'm going to meet a friend. We're going to run together in the park. And what's your name? Kevin. Are you going home now, Kevin? No, not right now. First, I'm going to go to the video game arcade. Oh, so you're going to play video games. Yeah, I am. Can I ask your name? Yes. My name's Robert. Are you going to do anything interesting tonight? Well, my friend Chris is going to have a party, but I'm going to work at home. I have all my work right here in my briefcase. So you can't go to the party. You're going to work tonight. That's right. And what's your name? I'm Jane. Do you have any plans for this evening? I just bought some new CDs, so I'm going to listen to music tonight. What kind of music is it? Jazz. I always listen to jazz. Jazz. I always listen to jazz. The information. Okay. Then, uh, do you want to listen again? Yes. Can I switch over that Yes. Okay, good. Good evening. I'm Al Rivers with KXQ News Radio. I'm talking with people waiting for the bus tonight. I'm finding out how they're going to spend their evening. What's your name? It's Michelle. I bet you're going to go to the gym tonight. No, not tonight. I'm going to meet a friend. We're going to run together in the park. And what's your name? Kevin. Are you going home now, Kevin? No, not right now. First, I'm going to go to the video game arcade. Oh, so you're going to play video games. Yeah, I am. Can I ask your name? Yes, my name's Robert. Are you going to do anything interesting tonight? Well, my friend Chris is going to have a party, but I'm going to work at home. I have all my work right here in my briefcase. So you can't go to the party. You're going to work tonight. That's right. And what's your name? I'm Jane. Do you have any plans for this evening? I just bought some new CDs, so I'm going to listen to music tonight. What kind of music is it? Jazz. I always listen to jazz. Okay, let's see if you remember. Michael is going where? Meet a friend. Meet a friend. Meet a friend. Okay. Hey, what about Kevin? Play video games. She she's going to play video, play video games. Games. Going to play video games. Okay. And Robert? Work at home. Work at home. Work at home. Okay. 
about Jane? Listen, listen, to, to, music. listen to music. Listen to music. Okay, what kind of music? Yes. 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 Okay, let's see if our uh, answers were okay. What if they were not? Okay, here we go. Okay, all of them were right. Okay, and here you can also practice other senses, right? For example, Michael is going to the gym. Michael is going to celebrate a birthday. Michael is going to go shopping. Okay, here you can practice more vocabulary, okay? Kevin is going to play video games. Kevin is going to listen to music. Kevin is going to go dancing. Kevin is going to go for a walk, okay? Uh, Robert is going to read. Robert is going to work at home. Robert is going to make a blueprint. He's an architect, right? And Robert is going to work. Then the other one is, Jane is going to? Jensen. Uh, Jane is going to see a movie. And Jane is going to go to a party. And the last one, she's going to listen to me. Okay, so then you can practice all these sentences and change names too, right? Instead of Michelle, you can use uh, Antonio, you can use Mary, you can use uh, Elizabeth, you can use Edith, you can use Julia. Okay, so this is knowledge check about going to. Una pregunta, teacher. Go ahead. Eh, eh, ¿Hay alguna contracción que usan en el audio cuando dicen going to? Porque no logro escuchar bien el going to cuando lo pronuncio. Perfect, perfect. Nice question. Sí, eh, let's, listen, uh, let's listen and then. Okay, we have to open it again. Good evening. I'm Al Rivers with KXQ News Radio. I'm talking with people waiting for the bus tonight. I'm finding out how they're going to spend their e Okay, that's one. They're, gonna, they're gonna. I'm finding how they're gonna. Good evening. I'm Al Rivers with KXQ News Radio. I'm talking with people waiting for the bus tonight. I'm finding out how they're going to spend their evening. And finding out how they're gonna spend their evening. That's the contraction that you hear. What's your name? It's Michelle. I bet you're gonna go to the gym tonight. I, no. I bet you're gonna go. You're gonna go to the gym tonight. Instead of going to, they say gonna. Okay. The the thing is that that contraction is like uh, informal, right? It's very informal to speak like that. <laughs> Like when in Spanish we say will. Okay? It sounds, you know, because it's a contraction of boy, I yeah, say you're gonna, you are going to. Okay? So this is the contraction. Okay, esa era la duda, Tiche, gracias. No problem, sir. Okay. Then the other one is, okay, now. Here we have. By the end of, the, of this class, you will learn how to sound natural when talking about the future plans by reducing going to. And here comes your question again. Now you're going to pronounce the reduction or contraction of one. This is what they call reduction. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to sound natural when talking about future plans by reducing be going to. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of going to. Reduction of going to. Are you going to have a party? No. I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? 
Yes. We're going to go to Nick's Cafe. When spoken, going to is usually going to sound as gonna. Let's analyze the examples one more time. Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. As I mentioned in a previous class in which I talked about pronunciation, pronunciation is one of the most difficult to learn in English. And this is because there are many exceptions to rules that we may mention. The best way to learn pronunciation is by listening carefully and repeating. Today's topic is quite universal. And if you watch your favorite TV program in English, you'll hear gonna instead of going to. So I would like for you to do just that. Watch your favorite TV program in English and pay attention to how going to is pronounced. Have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. Okay. Okay, let's see. Now, uh, Jose and Jorge, can you read the dialogue, please? Are you going to have a party, Jose? No. I'm go going to go out with a friend. Good. Mm -hmm. Continue, Jorge. Are you going to? Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes. We are going to go to Nick's Cafe. OK. Very good. OK, you see, going to go, right? Now, uh, Elisa, Elizabeth and I hate it, right? Read the conversations. Are you going to have a party? Are you gonna? Just gonna. Are you gonna to have a party? Okay. No, I am gonna go out with a friend. All right. Are you going to uh, are you gonna to go to a restaurant? Yes. We are going we are gonna go to Nick's cafe. Okay, very good. Okay, remember that going to gonna. Okay, going to, including to, going to gonna. Okay. Edith and Herman. Okay. Herman, are you gonna to have a party? Are you gonna have? No, I'm gonna to go with a friend. Okay. Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Yes, we go. We're gonna go to Nick's cafe. Cafe. Okay. Good. 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 You see, it's a matter of practice, right? Get used to gonna, gonna, and not going to. Thank you, uh, Jacob okay. and Natalie. Natalie, are you gonna have a party? No, I'm gonna go out with a friend. Are you gonna go into restaurant? Yes, we're, we're gonna go to Nick's Cafe. Very good. Hazel and Karen. Karen. Are you going to have a party? No, I am going to go with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we are going, going to go to the cafe. We're going to go to the cafe. OK, good. Uh, who was the other one? Carlos, right? Carlos and Jonathan. Carlos, are you going to Hello, have Cruz? a party? Yes, Carlos Cruz. Okay. 
Carlos, are we gonna have a party? No, I gonna go out with a friend. Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Yes, where I gonna uh, go to this cafe. This cafe, okay. Gabriela and Jacqueline Saray. Are you gonna have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. We're gonna go to Nick's Cafe. Okay, good. Then, this meeting, Johanna. And who else? Everybody participated, right? Then, 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 then. Jonathan, Johanna and Jonathan. Jonathan, repeat. Are you gonna to have party? Are you gonna have? No, I'm gonna go out with a friend. Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Yes, we're gonna go to next cafe. Okay, good. Hey, Johanna, are you gonna have a party tonight? Are you gonna have a party? No, you're, you're, I mean, I'm asking you, give me the answer. Yes or no? Uh, no. Why not? Today's your birthday, isn't it? <laughs> huh? No. No. Siempre aquí en casa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but no party. Okay. No happy party. Birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. All right, good. Okay, great. Then uh, we have, uh, let's see the other one. That's the conversation. Now listen again for the pronunciation. Analyze the examples one more time. Are you gonna have a party? No, I'm gonna go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. As I mentioned in a previous class in which I talked about pronunciation, pronunciation is one of the most difficult to learn in English. And this is because there are many exceptions to rules that we may mention. The best way to learn pronunciation is by listening carefully and repeating. Today's topic is quite universal. And if you watch your favorite TV program in English, you'll hear gonna instead of going to. So I would like for you to do just that. Watch your favorite TV program in English and pay attention to how going to is pronounced. Okay, just remember that going to, okay? The two words, the two words is Go. Mm -hmm. Then we don't say gonna do, right? Uh, we are going to go. Okay. We are going to go. Okay, but we say, sorry. Let me say we're gonna Okay, that's what they call the reduction. You see, for example, how you reduce the sentence, right? We are going to go, we're gonna go. Okay, we're gonna stay, we're gonna stay. We're gonna play. No, no, no. Se puede escribir gonna, así como lo has escrito en lugar de going to? Yes, you can, but in WhatsApp or in, in uh, when you're using informal, informal writing, okay? Okay. Informal writing, okay? But for example, for a formal letter, no. Formal letter or formal writing, no. Okay. For formal writing, you're going to use going to. Okay, in formal writing, yes, you can use going. 
when you are texting, right? When you are texting with your telephone and WhatsApp or um, the other uh, messenger, whatever, Instagram or Facebook, there you can write it, no problem, with friend. Okay? Questions? Okay, that's pronunciation, that's reduction. Okay. Recuerden que si se les queda algo, una duda, eh, siempre podemos regresar al tema. Si usted dice, miren, o usted me dice, no, que no pregunté por qué ya pasó, no. Ok, you can always ask. Edith, can you please read this uh, objective here? At the end of this class, I want okay. to talk about holidays in the U.S. I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. By the end of this class, you will be able to talk about holiday holidays in the U.S. Okay. So then, now, uh, yesterday we were talking about ourselves. You know, birthdays, dates, uh, months. Okay. Now we have the reduction of going to questions, affirmative and negative, and now we are going to talk about holidays, okay, holidays in the United States, okay? Okay, pay attention to the celebrations they have, right? Because we are going to combine that information with the information in our summer. Hi everyone, in this class you learn vocabulary related to holidays in the U.S. Let's get started by learning the holidays that you see on this chart. Holidays in the U.S. New Year's Day, January 1st. Valentine's Day, February 14th. Independence Day, July 4th. Halloween, October 31st. Thanksgiving, fourth Thursday in November. Christmas, December 25th. Now, I would like for you to use the vocabulary to talk about your plans for this coming holidays. For example, Valentine's Day is going to be on February 14th. I'm going to invite my wife to a special restaurant. Write similar sentences as this one. The goal is to use the vocabulary and going to. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Write similar sentences as this one. All right, let's see. Okay, we're gonna go now to practice this in the breakout room. Okay. Okay, they're in the in the group. You're gonna have the picture, okay? And then we are going to work in groups. And then you are going to see, for example, the celebrations, okay? January the 1st, which is New Year's Day. Valentine's Day is February 14th. Uh, we have Independence Day is July the 4th. Here in Salvador is September 15th. Halloween is October 1st, okay? We also celebrate it here the same day. Uh, Thanksgiving, the fourth uh, Thursday in November, and Christmas is December 26th, okay? Then, Valentine's Day, you can say here, for example, uh, let's see, Independence Day is going to be on July 4th, okay? I'm going to invite, or I'm going to call my friend and we are going to have a barbecue in my house. Okay, so you're gonna make plans using the different uh, 
public base that we have uh, here in El Salvador or in the United States. Okay. Then uh, I'm going to let me see. In the in the chat, you have the the example, right, of the sentences that you are going to create in the group. Uh, let me see. We have three. This one seven because we have two or three participants. Okay, uh, you begin to work. Okay, first think about first think about practice the dates, the holidays, right? For example, in Salvador we have January the first is New uh, is uh, well, this is the New Year's Day, right? Then what what is another celebration that we have? Valentine's Day is February fourteenth. In March, we don't have celebrations in March. Holy Week, I guess, right? The Easter Week. Easter. Okay, Holy Week. Uh, in April, we don't. In May, we have the Soldier's Day. We have Mother Day. Mother's Day, which is the most important one, Mother's Day. And I think it's the Nurses' Day, the 15th, I guess, May 15th, the Nurses' Day. Uh, then in June, Father's Day, Teacher's, Father's Day, Teacher's Day, what else? June, 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 only, right? In July? Well, the Independence, Independence Day in the United States, here in El Salvador, um, I don't think we have holidays, right? No. August? In August? August is the vacation. The vacation, we have the patron, patron party, right? La Fiesta Patronal in San Salvador, right? And yes. Let me see, now what, September? Independence, Independence Day. Independence Day, uh, October? Halloween. Halloween, Halloween October, Halloween. the October fest. <laughs> so just, uh, uh, yes, the uh, Halloween. And November? Yes. Um, Children's Day. That's in October, yes, in October, right? Children's Day. Children's Day in October. In November, second. No sé cómo oh, se yes. dice. Old, Saint, Old, Old, Old Saints Day. Uh -huh. yes. Old, Old Saints Saint Day. Days. Uh -huh. Yes. El día de todos los santos, creo que se le dan the first of November, too. In December, where we have Christmas, and then we have uh, New Year. Happy New Year. A New Year. New Year's Eve. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. So then remember all these uh, holidays that we have, and then make some plans. Okay. What are you going to do? What are you going to do this day? I know that Independence Day is very far, Christmas is very far, you know, almost one year, but just to practice. Okay. Now go to the group and let's see what is going on. Okay, let's accept the invitation.
sé qué día van a escoger. Uh, ¿Todos el mismo o diferente? Yo, yo creo que sería diferente. Un día, un día festivo diferente. Uh, elijo eh, 24 de eh, diciembre. Um, I am cook, a diner, very much, uh, chicken, salad, rice, um, soda. What, what day did you choose, Katie? What holiday, what? What holiday did you select? 24th. Oh, December, December. Christmas. Christmas here. Uh, o noche vieja, ajá, el 24 en la noche yes, celebramos. Yes, Christmas Eve, correct. Entonces, cook to diner. Um, You're going to cook a lot um, of food. Yes, I okay. going to church okay. with family. With my family, excellent. Um, yo sería uh, Halloween. Okay. Este... Um, este día, como lo Can you just say, for example, uh, Halloween is going to be on October 33rd. Okay, I'm Halloween? Going, uh, it's going to be? I, it's going to be? On October 33rd. On October 34th. Okay. I okay. am going to, I'm gonna... I am, I am family. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, or I'm going to. I'm going to. Um, the party. I'm going to make a party. I'm oh? going to make, Is I'm going to make a party for children. I'm going to make a party. Make a party. For, make a party. For children. For children. For children. 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 Uh -huh. Children. Children. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. Okay, good. Uh, I'm going to go out with my children. I'm going to collect candy. Okay. I'm going to give candy to the other children. Okay. So sorry. Okay, good. Now um, continue practicing. Okay. I'll be right back. Um, okay. Yeah. How all Hello, this is Tekken. Hi, teacher. Hello, Karen. What? Hi. What? Uh -huh. Hello, Johanna. What did you choose? What, uh, what celebration or what holiday did you select? I am celebration Christmas. You're going to celebrate Christmas Eve? Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Okay, good. Then you say Valentine's Day is going to be on February, February 4th, okay? And I'm going to, I'm going to make dinner for my husband, for my boyfriend, for my best friend, okay? So I'm, go I'm going to invite my best friend to a restaurant, okay? So what are you going to do uh, on February uh, 14th, Valentine's Day? What is the plan? What is your plan, Karen? I am going to make with my friends mm -hmm. and in my house. What? You're going to make what? A party? Yes. Okay, I'm going to make a party with my friend in my house. Good. And you, Johanna? Johanna, what are you going to do? I'm going to make an eating in my house with my mother. Mm -hmm. But uh, when? When are you going to do that? 
and Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day too, okay? You're going to yes. make a dinner with your friends in your house. Oh no, with your mother. Si. With your mother in your mother. house. Mother. Okay, yes. very good. Okay, continue practicing, okay? Choose another day, another holiday, and the plan of what you're going to do, okay? Okay. Okay. I'm going to go mm -hmm. party with my friends. Creo yes. que sería, I'm going out. No, I'm going to a party with friends. To a party. To a party. With my friend, brother. With my friend. With what my holiday friend. did you choose? Halloween. Halloween, Halloween days. Okay. In my case, is Halloween days is going to be uh, in October 31st. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stay at home. Okay, going to stay at home. In Halloween, no sé si estaría bien así. Halloween day is going to be on October 31st. I'm going to go a party with my friends. I'm going to go to a party with my friends. Mm -hmm. uh, in some some holidays, for example, Halloween is Halloween. You don't need to say day because it's a, it's like Independence Day. Independence Day, yes. Uh, Halloween, no. Uh, let me see. Christmas Eve, you don't need day. It's because it's La Vispera de Navidad. It's the twenty fourth, right? Christmas Eve. Okay. Let me see what else. Uh, we have uh, Valentine's Day. Yes. There are some holidays that you need to say day. In other, you don't need it. Okay, but there's but the sentence only the celebration. Uh huh. Only the celebration. Ah, okay. 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 Um, vamos go Independence Day. Independence. Okay. Independence Day okay. is going to be on September. 15, I'm going How do you say the file? Parade, parade. 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 P-A-R-A-D-E. 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 -E. P -A -A Could you repeat, please? P-A-R-A-D-E. D E. D E. D, D as in Dedo. D. D as in Daniel. D. Okay. D E. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Right. In, okay well, Independence Day is going to be on September 15. Mm -hmm. I'm going out to see a parade. Oh, perfect. Excellent. Correct. Okay. Very good. Continue with the practice. Practice with other holidays too. Excellent. Okay. Okay. All right. Hello, Elizabeth. Hi. Okay. Hello, Hello Jose. Which, uh, let's say, which uh, holidays did you choose? ¿Cuál escogieron? Um, um, uh, only one. Yes, only one. Mm -hmm. Depends on which one did you choose. Uh, Mother's Day. Okay. When is Mother's Day going to be? They say Mother's Day is going to be. Mother's Day is, is going to be on May 10th. Okay. I'm going, mm -hmm. I'm going to visit to my, my mother. I'm going to visit my mother. Okay. Very good. And you, Elizabeth? 
It can be the same day, no problem, okay? It can be the same day. Uh, puede ser siempre el día de las madres o otro. Yes, no puede ser el mismo. The only thing is that you have to choose a different activity, right? Mother's Day gonna be on May, Sam. I'm gonna invite my mother to a dinner. Okay, I'm going to invite my mother to have dinner, okay? To eat a house, to a restaurant, okay? All this vocabulary. Excellent. Okay, continue. Practice with other uh, other holidays. Okay, it can be a, a Labor Day. Be a trabajo, Labor Day. Labor Day is going to be on May 1st, and I'm going to stay in my house. Okay, to be another one. Okay, continue oh, sorry, with the practice. Okay. Okay. In the days of going to, podemos decir, come on. Okay. Yo, yo entré un poquito tarde, entonces a la hora de hacer las preguntas, uno va a responder, eh, siempre responde como I'm going. Mm, ¿Se, puede, ¿Se puede pronunciar con, como going to o la contracción gonna? O gonna, I'm gonna. Eh, sí, creo que está el profesor también para que nos explique. No, pero es ok. Ah, ok. Por eso no dice nada, porque usted está de profesor muy bien. Está. <risa> uh, muy bien. Ok, gracias. Ah, es ok, bien. Es excelente. Por eso, por, yeah, por eso no, no intervino, ¿no? para que me meto con ese ticho. Ok. Thank you. Es que tenía, tenía dudas en, porque en las preguntas, ¿verdad? A la hora de responder, me conecté uh -huh. un poquitito tarde. Es okay. Entonces, cuando se hace una pregunta, eh, para responder, le estaba preguntando a él si es I'm, eh, me decía, ¿verdad? Que se puede responder a coin o, mm -hmm. o cona. Con, yes. cona. Si es respuesta sí. larga, yes. for example, are you going to celebrate Valentine's Day? Say, yes, I am. Short answer. Ah, o, okay. O puede ser también, yes, I'm going to celebrate. O oh, yes, I'm going oh, okay. to celebrate. So there are different forms, but this is it's correct. This is in questions. Uh, in this case, for example, oh, okay. uh, suppose that you choose one holiday. We say uh, Labor's Day is on May 1st. It's el día del trabajo, right? Labor's Day is on May 1st. I'm, my plan, I'm going, I'm going to stay in my house. I'm going to go to the beach. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, paint my house that day. Okay, what is the plan that you have for that uh, for that day? Okay, this is back up okay. on a whole okay. day that we choose. All right. Okay, continue with the practice. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Una pregunta, eh, profesor, ah. ya teníamos la duda de ¿Cómo se dice Semana Santa? Okay, la Semana Santa es uh, Holy Week. Pero por lo general, eh, en oh. los países eh, que somos anglosajones, eh, celebran la siguiente semana, que es la semana de Pascua. Entonces, por eso se dice, muchos se usan en inglés, Easter Week. Que es la siguiente, ¿verdad? que es la semana de Pascua, Easter Week. Pero Semana Santa es Holy Week. Entonces, holy? holy Week. Holy Week. Okay. De ahí viene holy. la palabra Holy de ahí viene la palabra de... Holiday. Porque, ajá, pero es que muchas veces se okay. usa la palabra holiday para eventos que tienen que ver con cuestiones religiosas, en algunos casos. Y vacation for other, for other events. But ese es el término general, right? Holiday. Ok. Ok. So, thank you very much. Thank you. All Thank right. you, teacher. Okay,
Okay, I guess everybody is returning. Okay, uh, this practice is the, the topic, the topic they gave us is holiday, right? For example, uh, we said about the uh, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Teacher's Day. But uh, remember that uh, the idea here is that we can talk about events, okay, special events that we are going to have in our life, okay, in our, uh, let's say, in our agenda, right, that sometimes we have. Suppose it can be any other event, not only for holidays. Suppose we say, oh, uh, my, my, uh, let's see, my sister in laws okay, you know, sister in law. What is sister in law? Cuñada. Okay. Cuñada. Okay, my sister in law's birthday is on February 2nd. Okay, so uh, my family and I are going to prepare dinner for her. So we are going to a, a lecture. Uh, celebrate her birthday with a cake. Okay, so then we can, it can be other uh, any other event. For example, uh, we can also say in June, let me see, on June, on June 17, uh, my son is going to graduate. Okay, he's going to graduate. So I'm going to buy him a nice present. I'm going to give him a nice present, okay? So the, the, you can think about other events, in, uh, for example, on, let's say um, August 28th is going to be my wedding anniversary, okay? It can be, you know, my 27th wedding anniversary. So I'm going to invite my wife to the beach. Oh, I'm going to have a little trip to Guatemala with my with my wife. Oh, I'm going to take her out to dinner. I'm going to take her out to a nice restaurant. Okay. Uh, then you, uh, you see that you can think about other uh, other events. Okay, not only the holiday. So that's the idea, right? Uh, for example, uh, let me see what else. Uh, on next week, next week, we are going to have a parents meeting in the school. Okay, I'm going to prepare, I have a teacher, I'm going to prepare the agenda for my, uh, let's say for my class, uh, for my class, uh, for my, for the parents of my class. Okay, I'm going to prepare the agenda of the topics that I'm going to talk about. You see, I'm using going to and all that. So you see, going to can be for any other thing. All right? So always think about how can I use in this in my everyday activity, okay? Siempre traten de, tra de, de extrapolar lo que vemos acá a su vida real, right? So that's very important. Because you pr it's easier, it's more fácil hablarlo así que estar creando cosas que, eh, digamos que no, que no tenemos a la mano, right? But if, some, if it is something our, it's easy. Okay, for example, you can also say, oh, I'm going to have my final exam, in the, let's say, at university on May 27th. Okay, I'm going to prepare a questionnaire and notes to study uh, every weekend to prepare for that exam. Okay, so you see, you can just think about an event in the future. It can be an event, a special event, a holiday, or whatever. Good questions. We're good. Yes. Okay. Nice. 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 Let's see the next one. And then we have the first one. Okay, let me see. Elizabeth, 
Can you please read this uh, objective here by the end? By the end of the cl this class, you will be able to ask and answer W questions using be going to. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Okay, you see this one, very important, real life setting. The scenario of la vida real, right? Always. They says WH questions using going going to. Which are those uh, WH questions uh, using going to? Okay, look at this. This uh, there are these four ways of answering which four questions you can use. For example, what are you going to do tomorrow? When are you going to finish your English courses? Why are you going to buy that car? Who are you going to go to the movies with? Okay, how much are you going to pay for that uh, what? Uh, how many how many telephones are you going to use? Okay, so you see you can use WH questions. Okay, there are many. But here in the video that we're going to watch. There are some, okay? Now let's listen to it. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real world setting. Let's get started by listening and practicing the conversation title Have Good Balance. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Laguna's. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Now let's analyze the example of these. Smart. WH questions with be going to. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? I'm going to go to a dance. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. Where are you going to go? We're going to go to Laguna's. We're not going to stay home. How are you going to get there? We're going to drive. We're not going to take a bus. Who's going to be there? My friends are going to be there. My sister isn't going to be there. In order to form WH questions with be going to, we can follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of these questions using this formula. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? The WH word is was. Next, we have the word to be are. Then we have the subject to be. After that, we add going to. Then we have the word to. And finally, we put the complement and a question mark at the end for Valentine's Day. Let me choose one more example. How are you going to get there? The WH word is how. Next we have the word to be on. Then we have the subject. You. After that, we need to add verb to. Then we have verb get. And finally, we put the complement and a question mark at the end. There. Now it's your turn to practice making WH questions with be going to 
I would like for you to make similar questions about upcoming holidays. Okay. Any questions about this the structure? About the construction of the sentences? I mean, the questions? No? Okay. Then, uh, Teacher. perfect, no problem. Okay, tomorrow we're going to uh, practice with what, where, how, and who is. And I'm going to give you some other, right? So that we can uh, extend um, a little bit more the, the, the practice of WH questions, right? For example, uh, and, and, and we're going to try tomorrow to practice different verbs, okay? We're going to try to want to play a kind of game, right? Not repeating the same verb. Because if you see, most of the examples say, what are you going to do? Okay, what are you going to play? What are you going to eat? Okay, or where are you going? Where are you going to have lunch tomorrow? Oh, I'm going to have lunch in my office. I'm going to have lunch with some friends. I'm going to have lunch in my house, okay? Uh, why are you going to study uh, French? Uh, because I like it. Okay, so we're going to try to use different verbs and different WH questions. Okay, some extra practice. Okay, people, time flies. Okay, tiempo vuela. Hey, we don't have more time for today, but uh, we still have no more questions. Just practice the conversation. Okay, tomorrow we're also going to practice the conversation, the last conversation about WH questions, and we're gonna have pronunciation tomorrow. Okay, so okay. have a very good night. Dream in English. Okay, teacher. Okay. And have a good night. Good, good night, night, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night.